I'm going to show you guys how to set this front apron. Uh, what you want to do first is use your, I use a, a drill driver, or it's an impact. And uh, then I use these screws right here. These are self tappers. Hopefully the lighting's a little bit bad. Sorry guys. Uh, do I have my light on? Maybe not. Um, let me see if I can get that to work. There we go. Um, got a little rain going on today. It's kind of crappy. And there's some rain puddles everywhere around the welder. It's not very fun. But anyway, um, I'm just going to set this thing on here. So these are the self tappers. You use these to hold it in place. And then uh, these are self drilling, I'm sorry. And then I use the ones with the big heads. So they're, they work real nice. Just to hold it in place. And then once it's in place, then you can take the screws out as you weld it on. All right, so uh, one of the ways you can figure out whether you've got it at the right place is follow your contour of how that this thing goes along here and make sure that it flows evenly all the way down. So if it's kicked out too much, you know, it's kicked out this way or kicked in too much, then you can see it doesn't just follow the same line all the way down. Um, you can't adjust the hood latch a bit, so, um, and also re-arc the hood a little bit if it is not lining up quite right. So it's not as critical to get it exactly where it was. Now, these things are not a direct fit. This is a clocker home, which I believe is probably one of the only manufacturers of these now, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, these are, you know, they. I had to trim right here on the other side. See if you can see it on the video. Uh, right here, I had to trim this inside here because it wasn't exactly the same as the one I took off. Um, you're always going to have to do this with these parts. Nothing is direct fit. So you just screw it in place. And if you haven't noticed, I've got um, some of these weld-in things here. You get those at Wolfsburg West. They're real nice. These here I just weld in. They have the original on some on the right hand side of this car was all this style. They sell this style if you want to put those in. Uh, I prefer not because they're just a pain in the ear. And the uh, fender beating covers some of this. So, um, it, you know, if you're looking for perfect show, then you might want to get these ones and then weld, weld them in or whatever you're going to do. I don't know. They're real nightmare pain in the butt rear to do. Because, um, see, if you look at this car, this has never been hit, never been touched. That's the original uh, pieces here on the, this side. And on this side, they're like this. So it's weird. I think this happened in a lot of years of VWs. They had all the in, you know, so there are a little bit mismatched car. You know, it's whatever they had left from the last run is what they used. Um, so the early ones, I think, were this style. And then the later ones were this style here. So, but anyway, uh, you just place it in place. I'm going to go ahead and weld it where it's at and tap it in tighter as I go. Got to make sure that this part lines up. Of course, it doesn't. There's always this part down here. There's almost always a gap, so I usually leave extra sheet metal when I take the other one off, but for some reason I cut it. Well, actually, I had to cut this piece out. That's right. This piece in the middle I replaced, so. But I usually leave a little bit extra sheet metal. When you cut your old apron out, always leave a little bit extra of the old apron on there because the new aprons are always a little bit short. These ones are always short. Yeah, I forgot about that. I've only put on a hundred of these over the years, but... I didn't work on VWs for like 10 years, 15 years. So anyway, uh, that's that. We'll get it welded on and let you take a look. All right, so I got it welded on. And uh, it's going to give you guys, a, you guys can see it better than I can <laughs> when I'm working because uh, it's getting a little bit too dark to 
do the welding. It's only like barely four o'clock, but it's really cloudy and uh, I can't see to do the inside, but I just went ahead and ground them down because there's a little bit of a mountain going on there. But I had money, wanted to make sure that they uh, adhere is the most important thing to weld so that there's adhesion and that they uh, penetrated, which I make sure that they do. So there's a little bit of contaminants in there, but it's okay. You got a lot of spot welds in there. Do a little hammering. And on the inside, I'm going to have to do that tomorrow when I can see. Because I need to make myself a little piece of sheet metal to put across the front here. For that gap. If you can see, there's a pretty... There's my hand. <laughs> About a half quarter inch gap there. Which there usually is with these uh, the, the uh, replacement apron. So keep that in mind when you cut out your old one. I usually cut out to right here. But for some reason, maybe there was a rust there or something. I didn't cut out all the way up here. Um, in the middle, but I know I replaced this middle section, but I wasn't really thinking about the fact that there's always a giant gap. Okay, just something to think about when you do yours. Talk to you later.